Today, we are going to dive deeper into one particular time bomb on your pets, pesticides. By the end of this video, three Africans will tragically have died from cancer. That's because an African dies every single minute from cancer. These rising cancer cases aren't just genetics or bad luck. They are also caused by the food on our plates. You see, pesticides, those chemicals sprayed on crops to protect them from pests, are slowly poisoning the food we put on our plates. Toxins from pesticides don't just disappear, they end up in the soil, in the water, and in our bodies. And the link between these poisonous pesticides and cancer is becoming clearer every day. There are more than a thousand pesticides used around the world to ensure food is not damaged or destroyed by pests. Each pesticide has different properties and toxicological effects. Why are some of these pesticides so dangerous? Let me give you three facts that should make you furious. They leave toxic residues on crops and subsequently in our food. Every time you eat some fruits, vegetables or grains, you might be consuming chemicals known to cause cancer, hormonal disruption and even neurological damage. In many African countries, up to 95% of pesticide poisoning cases are unintentional, but that's no consolation. Some pesticides poison our soil and water. They don't just stay on the crops. They seep into the earth, contaminating soil and water systems that we depend on. How can we grow healthy food when the very ground is toxic? This isn't just an environmental issue. It's a life and death matter. Some pesticides hurt the most vulnerable. Pesticides hit the poor the hardest. Farmers and their families, people who work to put food on our tables, are often the first victims. Many of these chemicals are banned in wealthier countries, but are still sold and used in Africa. We're becoming the dumping ground hazardous substances. Is that fair? We don't have to sit by and watch this happen. Here is what we can do today. Number one, demand a ban on highly hazardous pesticides. Because enough is enough. We also need to support organic and sustainable farming. We need to shift to agroecology, crop rotation, and natural pest management. It's time to protect our land, our health, and our future. Our future is on the line, but we are not powerless. We are Africa. We have the strength to change the way food is grown. We must shut the door to the Western chemicals colonizing our land in the name of crop productivity. Together, we can protect our people, our food, and our future.